Hey everybody, welcome back, it's Odin, and it's time for some more Ex Anima. So here we are on the second floor, and uh, miraculously, Darren is still alive, but I don't think he's going to be with us too much longer, that's just my feeling. Alright, so we're going to grab the key that we need for the door at the back of that room. So let's just go get that key first, and then we'll come back to that room and check it out. Uh, da -da -da, where is that? I always forget exactly where it is, I think it's in here. Yeah. There it is. Alright, so let's move that older key. I like to keep the most recent key in the top left corner of the inventory just for the hell of it, and I cannot grab this damn key to save my life. I guess we'll zoom in. There we are. Okay. Okay, got the key. Let's see what else there is in here. Uh, well, hey, there's another one-handed sword. That's good. Give that to the man, Darren. Uh, so some viewers have suggested giving Darren a two-handed weapon. With uh, I think the the belief is oh shit, thick quilted trousers. I think that the belief is that he'll be more aggressive if he has a two-handed weapon. I don't know if that's true or not. I mean, it, you know, it, it sounds reasonable. I mean, maybe it's true. I don't know. But, uh, I... Oh, there's a zombie over there. Uh, crude gambeson. We've already got our gambesons on. Alright, let's check here real quick. Alright, we don't need any of that. Okay, so let's go deal with that zombie now. But yeah, I just feel like... I don't know, I feel... better about the situation when Darren has at least a shield... Uh, is there really, where did that zombie go? I don't know. So let's go back over here. So now we have the key. We can unlock this door. There we go. And let's hope for something cool. Yeah, chain gauntlets and they're superior. That's not bad at all, really. Um, now, of course, I'm already wearing some plate gauntlets. So, we will give these to Darren. Uh, right, alright, that looks pretty good. Okay, nothing over here. Get out of the way, Darren. I wonder, I wonder where the hell that zombie went that we saw just a minute ago. Oh, uh, that's a wall. That's a chair. Come on, Darren. There you go. All right. That other zombie, man, seems to have disappeared. Okay, so we checked that. Time to go over here now. Oh, shit. There's three... Four zombies! Oh, man. Okay, what are we going to do here? I mean, in theory, we don't have to fight them. But that just seems so lame. That seems so lame. Let's get into it. I don't care that there's four of them. Yeah, see, they're going to start fighting each other in the best case scenario. So let's try and get them in each other's way. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, help me. Yeah, help me out there. I love it. Oh, shit. I almost got through that without taking any damage. Darren, do something, you worthless piece of shit. How is this zombie still alive? This is ridiculous. And by the way, did Darren hit me? I don't know if he did or not, but I kind of felt like he did. All right, man. That was uh That was interesting. Just a regular ass gambeson. What do you have? Uh, just some ridiculous shit that nobody wants. And up in there. Okay. Well, let's let's go this way. Alright, 
so we've made our way to the kitchen and of course that leads what the hell is that sound? there's a zombie somewhere, where the hell are they? is it this one making that noise? no it's not that one oh, I wonder if that was possibly Darren walking over that basket, I don't know Alright, let's go deal with that zombie. Here it is. Alright, gotta be careful. Darren, please get out of my way. Oh, is that it? Alright, nicely done. Nicely done! See, that's some good teamwork right there. That's what it's all about. Okay, so there's nothing for us in there in that gigantic, like, uh, cafeteria type of place. Uh, does this lead to the same area? Yeah, it does. And there's nothing for us here. Well, <laughs> there's our face plant for the day. Always gotta have one. And this is back at the beginning of the level. I think, anyway. Or no, that's not, that's not the same area, is it? Oh, uh, maybe it is, actually. Alright. Let's head back this way. I know it's it's pretty remarkable that I have yet to memorize this map, but uh, eh, it's just the reality of the situation. Alright, so we're back into this damn cafeteria-type place. But we can go this way. Right, got one zombie here. Now what the f did my sword get caught? What did it get caught on? Oh, this is pathetic. There we are. Oh crap, here's another one. Yeah, that'll handle that. Alright. Yeah, I was just checking to make sure it wasn't a superior Gambison, because that would be nice. Alright. Oh, uh, not seeing anything lootable in here. No. All right, let's go this way then. I should have been marking doors because now I don't know if I've been here before. I probably have been, but I just cannot recall. No, I guess we haven't. That's good. Okay. We've got some lore there if you want to pause that and read it. A little more right here. A little is an understatement. Got ourselves another key. Move it right there. More lore. And again, they went a little crazy with the lore in this room, as you can tell. Okay. Nothing over here. Darren, you moron. Get out of my... Good lord, get out of my way, Darren. Uh... No, don't need any of that. And I believe that's all. Right, okay, let's continue on. Okay, 
let's check here. Damn, nothing of interest. Looks like the same story in here. And these do appear to be cells in a dungeon, so it's not surprising that we haven't found anything lootable here. Yeah, not surprising at all. Uh, well, actually, there's something. But not anything cool, sadly. And there are so many damn cells in here. Uh, oh, shit, there's something else. And that doesn't look very interesting. And one more. And once again, not very interesting. Well, shit. That door is locked. I wonder if this key works for it. No, it doesn't. But there is a key sitting right there, so I'm guessing that's the one we need. So I am going to move this key just down further. There we go. Okay, so what do we have here? Oh, we've got a zombie. Wearing a gambeson, it looks like. <laughs> Damn it, Darren, get out. Oh, don't run! Oh, I hate when they run. It's so annoying. That was that was pathetic. Where are you? Where are you going? So we're going back to places we've already been, chasing after this dude. Yeah, to hell with him. Let him go. Let him go. Darren, let him go. Oh, I thought there was a door there. <laughs> Shit. I don't. Ah, uh, God, I don't remember where we just were. I've already got... Ah, good lord, I've already gotten lost. Just chasing that damn zombie got me lost. I'm so pathetic. Oh, son of a bitch. How the hell with this? Let's... <laughs> I have no idea where I am. Let's just... Let's try going this way. There you are. It's really not that hard to keep up, Darren. Is this the room with... Ah, okay, that's the room with the map. So we're kind of retracing our steps here. See, it's like the one time I choose not to mark doors, I get lost as hell. But we have not checked these areas out, so... That's pretty good. Why can you not walk under that? That is absolutely ridiculous. Just an empty pouch that we don't need. Uh, and a shit helmet and a coat. Okay, got a little bit of lore there. And we have a zombie sitting here looking at us. Gotta be very careful. I'm gonna start with the faint. Yeah, he didn't go for it. Let's try it again. There he at that time. There we are. And don't want any of those clothes because, well, the whole ketchup and mustard theme is not really my, it's not my look. The yellow and red. Alright.
So this looks like it was the room of someone rather important. But the loot that's remaining is not very impressive. Not very impressive at all. And that's just a washroom. Okay. I'd really like to know how their sewage system works down here. Can't help but be impressed by it. Oh, we'd already checked that. I mean, are their sewers just just generally deeper into the ground than uh, than all these these other places? I mean, I, I don't understand how it works. Just kind of interested though. The logistics seem a bit confusing. Uh, hey, I've got some more of these gauntlets. Now these are superior. What am I wearing? Oh, that's right. I switched to these regular ones. Well, let's compare them anyway. Well, the ones I have are definitely better. So you know what this means. We are going to throw those on Darren. And that is a bathroom. No big surprise. Okay, so let's go back this way now. As we continue to try to figure out where the hell we are. Or basically how to get back to where I was. Oh man, there's nothing in here. This is not the way to go. Open that door that leads to the same place. And there's no door over here. Darren. Come on, Darren. Whoa, shit. Hey, nice. Eh, that worked out. Oh, he was one that ran away from us earlier, wasn't he? I already can't recall. Hmm. Shit, we've already been here, haven't we? lead back up to that one. Uh, yeah, that leads back to this place. Shit. I think I need to go... I think I need to go this way, possibly. Yes, this looks right. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we have arrived on the third floor, and we are going to have to end today's episode right here. But, as always, I would like to extend my heartfelt appreciation and gratitude for you guys being here. I always enjoy you hanging out with me. You know what, let's kill this guy first before we leave. Let's, let's just, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna suffer a zombie to live, you know what I mean? There we go. Okay, just had to handle that real quick. So again, as I was saying, thanks for hanging out and checking out some Xanima. I appreciate it. Please hit like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.